my excitement for this video is just like, ah! Um, God gave me a dream this morning on 12 10 24 of the wealth transfer. Um, I'm sharing it because not every single detail, um, but 95% of the details of the dream because I want to encourage you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pray and I, I'm just so excited. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for the dream. God, you're so faithful. I could go on and on about your faithfulness, um, but you you intervene and you speak, Lord, when uh, just at the perfect time. So I know that this has come into my life at the perfect time. I know that whoever watches this video and hears this is coming into their life at the perfect time as well. So I thank you for your timing, and I just pray that you would pierce the hearts of every single person, Lord, that tunes in. Um, I love you. I pray you get all the glory, God, and I thank you for showing us the riches and glory of your heart, Lord, of your kingdom, of, of, of the harvest, of what is to come. And I thank you that you are building up the laborers right now. So I praise your holy name, Lord. I pray that you would just bring this video to every single person that it's meant for. And I also pray that if anybody, you know, if, if, if their heart is really needing this, Lord, that you would meet them where they are. And that if someone's mind, so, someone, someone's name comes to their mind, Lord, that they would share this with that person to encourage them. So I love you, Lord, and I thank you. I pray, Lord, that you would speak through me now in this moment. Pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. I'm so excited. I have, have like so many things here on my desk to show you guys. So let's just get started. Ugh. Um, he's given me a couple of dreams in the last week, and I'm, I'm so grateful because, guys, being in ministry, let me just be a little bit vulnerable and transparent with you guys. Being in ministry, it, it can be a lot, but it, it's such a good pressure, right? Like a, a diamond needs a lot of pressure, right? Um, grapes have pressure and they become wine, right? Olives become pressure and then they become olive oil. Um, we, we're, we're, we're pressured, but goodness comes from that pressure. So though the pressures are tough, it's worth it. So whatever pressures you're feeling, just endure because it's worth it, is what I want to tell you. Okay, so here's my dream. And it's really powerful because I've been praying so specifically about this dream. And I, I know you guys are like, just tell me the dream. Okay, so I was at like a church camp. Um, not like a kid's church camp, but it was just like a church camp, but for like adults. And um, so we're at a camp with like the body of Christ. Um, and anyways, so... We were at this church camp, and then I went into the bathroom. And, like, I had met people. People were very nice, very friendly. Um, but then I went into the bathroom, like, the ladies' bathroom. And I opened up, you know, like, like even in my bathroom. In my bathroom, we have a mirror that opens. And then when you open up the mirror, you know, there's, like, little shelves. So um, in this church bathroom, there was a mirror. And I opened it, and it, it was, like, mine. So it wasn't just, like, a random one. Like, that, that mirror was specifically mine. So I opened up the mirror and on the shelves, there's just checks, checks with like very large dollar amounts on them. There's letters, there's little folded checks, folded letters, but it it's for me and it's from Jesus. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's almost like as I open it, it's just like pouring out onto me. So I'm just like grabbing these and like um, some of the checks were, I mean, the checks were like the amount like a blank check um and then there was just like an amount like very large amounts like hundreds of thousands of dollars and then there were also like pieces of paper that had amounts written on them but it wasn't necessarily in the form of a check and then there was also like tall letters and so I'm just gathering these things and I'm like oh my gosh and um it's supernaturally there from Jesus for me so I go and, and I go and I right away I show my husband um and I'm like Oh my gosh, look at this. And I was just so grateful because it's not random. Obviously, yeah, anyone's going to be excited if you have checks coming out, right? But these were not random. They were like very specific because it's things that the Lord has shown me before, like in the natural, like a year and a half ago or in a year and a year ago. And so I had been praying about it. And so then in my dream, he's like bringing these things again to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I show my husband. Anyways, I can't remember, the dream continues, and then I go back into the bathroom again. 
So I go back into the bathroom again, I open up my mirror again, and again, more. Like, not just a repeat of this of before, like, new letters from Jesus, new checks, new dollar amounts, and an even larger note, with this note having, like, a very large amount, which matches an amount that he has shown me, like, a year and a half ago that I would have. Or at least the body of Christ will have. But it's always for God's kingdom, okay? So... I was like, oh my gosh. And like these, these letters and like letters can, um, represent like instructions or they can represent like promotion. Um, you know, like if you receive like a higher letter, for example. So I had this and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm and like, I can kind of see people like looking like, what is she getting? You know? So I just like gather all these things. And I'm telling you, like, it's a lot of like letters and checks and notes that are just coming out of my bathroom window and or bathroom mirror. So I'm just, holding it and gathering it, I closed my mirror, and I'm just so excited because Jesus is giving me these things, you guys, like supernaturally providing these things for me. And so I go, and um, now I'm like at a round table, like I guess, almost like, I guess if, you know, to be consistent with the church camp thing, maybe like the cafeteria, like where everyone eats, you know? So I'm sitting there, and I'm just like showing my husband um, these things, these checks, um, and then one of them, so the very, very large amount, there was a note written on it. And it said, you will get this when you use basically everything that was given to me in the first, the first time I went to the mirror. Um, once I use all of that to build God's kingdom, like that was in, in the note. It said, when you use this to build God's kingdom or my kingdom, then I will release to you this. So the really large amount. I'll just say it's like $4 million. The $4 million was just written. It was not written on a check yet. It was just written on like on a piece of paper with instructions. When you use the other first, the other hundreds of thousands and even like a million was written on it. When you use that for my kingdom, then I'll release to you the $4 million. Um, And so I, I showed my husband and I was like, does he want us to build a church? And my husband just looked at me. And so then as I'm showing my husband this, a woman who was really nice to me, you know, moments before, sees what's in my hand and she just all of a sudden, like, she's trying to take it from my hand. And I'm like, just trying to show my husband this. And she's like, what is that? And she kind of just like, jealousy comes out. She's trying to grab it. She's trying to take it. All of a sudden, I had this sense like, oh my goodness, you know, because it's a camp, like we're sleeping there. And I'm all of a sudden, I just imagine to myself, like when I'm sleeping, I wouldn't put it past her. This was the sense I was getting in my dream. Then maybe she would try to hurt me when I'm sleeping to try to get whatever I have. So there was a trusted man of God next to me. And I said, will you please pray for me for when I'm sleeping for protection? And he said, yes, I will. But then also the thought came over me. You know, I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Like, I don't have any fear. I'm not worried. But it's still important to pray. Um, and so, so was there anything else that I wanted to say about the particular dream? Except for, okay, so. How amazing is that? So it's so incredible because one, um, it happened twice, right? Like, and also God gave me instructions. And so when we wait upon the Lord, when we wait, when we wait, and guys, in the natural, there has been, there have been a few people contacting me, basically trying to do business with me for like paid speaking opportunities because the Lord did give me a dream that I'm going to have paid speaking opportunities. But these companies want me to like spend all these thousands of dollars first and I was not having peace about it and I was like crying with my husband and then praying and I'm like, you know what, like, no, this, this just doesn't feel right and I don't want to keep paying money. I would just, I know the Lord's going to provide. So I passed on these different opportunities, which don't get me wrong, they're, they're wonderful coaching opportunities, but it's just not what God has shown me. And so I had to, you know, even if something is good, if it's not from God, say no. We can say no to something, even if it's good, okay? That's, I know that's for somebody out there. And so anyways, then, the, then um, so God gave me this dream. And so I want, even with, with the mirror, right? We're going, to, we're going to be reflecting God's glory and riches, you guys, right? When we open the mirror, what are we seeing, right? God's pro if we're seeing God's promises, God's faithfulness, when people look at us, we're supposed to reflect the riches and glory of the Lord were supposed to reflect like a mirror, the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love that, that scripture. I think it's 2 Corinthians 3.17. Let me just read that really quick. It's either 1 or 2 Corinthians. Yeah. 
2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Okay, now here's the reflection part. But we all with unveiled face, right? Unveiled face. We're just looking in the mirror, right? Beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the Lord. So we are to be reflecting the Lord's glory. And when the Lord is going to pour out, remember it's an abundant life with Jesus. It's an abundant life. We're not supposed to settle. Now, of course, we're going to have seasons when we're, when we're waiting. But in those seasons of waiting, we still have to practice being good stewards of what he's already given to us and being content with what he has given us while we have um, a feeling of expectation and anticipation for the promises of God. This is where you your, your faith is going to be tested and stretched. Sorry, it's really red right here because I was scratching because I, I have my fake nails. So that's why it wasn't like my dog or anything. Um, anyways. So then it was like the double, right? In my dream, I went to the mirror once and then I went to the mirror again. So like this repetition, the Lord showing us something twice, that could also show that it's, it's coming quickly, okay? So I wanna say to you right now, so into God's kingdom, so into his glory. Think about if you invest in like Bitcoin or you invest in a 401k or, or whatever. You invest in something, look at God's kingdom like that. Invest in God's kingdom. He's going to give you a return even better then the other things that you're investing in is going to give you a, a tenfold, thirtyfold, fiftyfold, one hundredfold return. Okay, he's going to give you a return on what you sow into his kingdom. You don't just sow and then it poof disappears. No, you're sowing and you're reaping a harvest. And God, this is the one time he says, "Test me, test me in this." Okay, so I wanted to read you guys. Um, uh, Second Corinthians. Oh my goodness. Where did I just put it? Oh, yeah. 2 Corinthians 9, all right, verse 10. Now, may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness while you are enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Okay, and, and for the administration of this service, not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also is abounding through many thanksgivings to God. While through the proof of this ministry, they glorify God, right? The, the proof, the proof is in the pudding. Okay. <laughs> While through the proof of this ministry, they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ and for your liberal sharing with them and all men and by their prayer for you who long for you because of the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Look, and like, when, when God answers our prayers and when he, he will provide seed for the sower, and something that I wanted to say also was, um, I was sharing this dream with a sister in Christ and she said, make sure you pray about, you know, building God's church. And of course I'm going to. And yes, we are the church, but there also are physical church buildings. And um, to bring in the great harvest, right? The, the great harvest of lost souls, even as believers are, are wanting to just be in the, the, the house of the Lord even more, um, new church plants are going to be created to be able to provide the needs, right, and to edify the body of Christ. We have to edify one another. And we need to be in the presence of the anointing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's nothing I wanted to say. People will spend millions of dollars at doctor's offices People, I guess people who have millions of dollars or they'll just have debt, right? But millions of dollars are spent at doctor's offices for healing. The, the gift of healing, you guys, it is rich. Instead of praying for God to give you money so you can go to the doctor, pray for God to give you the gift of healing. It is the power to heal. Imagine if you're standing there and you place your hands on the sick and they're healed of paralysis. Imagine if you're standing there and because God has given you the gift of healing, which is the power to heal. And I will show you all that scripture in a bit. But people pay millions of dollars, right? That is why the anointing is so precious, right? We, we're, we're, buy, buy it. Buy wisdom, right? People spend money to go travel, to go to a glory conference, to be in the presence of the anointing, to be in the presence of God, right? These things are, are supernatural, the glory, the anointing of the Lord. So don't seek after money, seek after the gifts so that you can administer the gift and the Lord's going to provide for you. Amen? 
So my, my prayer is, Lord, anoint my hands for healing. Anoint my eyes to see. Anoint my ears to hear. Anoint my head that I have the mind of Christ. Anoint my heart, Lord God. Give me a pure heart. Anoint my back for strength. Anoint my feet to be sent. Anoint my mouth to speak the word of God with love and boldness and grace. Amen. Um, anything else I wanted to say? Oh, yes. Be discreet. When the Lord blesses you, of course, testify because that gives God glory. They don't always have to testify if, if it is going to be financial and you, and there might be people who come out of nowhere and they try to take it from you. So obviously be discreet, but build God's kingdom. Okay, build God's kingdom. Um, praise God. Praise God. So I just wanted to share that. I pray that encourages you. If someone came to mind while you're watching this, please share it with them. Please like and um, and comment amen so we can just help the algorithm. Anyways, guys, I love you. I love you so much. And God is so faithful. He provides seed for the sower. Amen. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Bye.